Hello, Elizabeth I parents, families, and guardians. Welcome to Curriculum Night 2020 here at Elizabeth I School coming up on this Wednesday, September 23rd. That's right, it looks a little bit differently this year, but we wanted to make sure that we are safe in delivering this traditional curriculum night that comes upon us every fall in the most safest way, and we're doing that remotely. So um, you are getting a sneak peek uh, within my letter that you're accessing right now, each one of our grade levels presentations, including support staff members and our Encore teachers, um, and as well as a few other members that um, definitely want to take advantage of showcasing the great things that take place here at Elizabeth Eid School. So I am encouraging you on Wednesday, September 23rd, to attend your child's uh, curriculum night for that respected grade level. Uh, in a little bit this afternoon, this evening, your classroom teacher, the child's classroom teacher, is going to be sending you a Zoom link to join their presentation on Wednesday, September 23rd. So be on the lookout for that um, coming up pretty shortly. You should receive that sometime, uh, like I said, this evening, and it will be that link for you to participate and join. I do encourage you to take a look at the snapshot and the sneak peek presentations that I've included in my parent letter for you. It will give you a great idea of the instruction, the curriculum that we have for this school year, um, as well as some important information about classroom expectations and just to get to know a little bit more about that classroom teacher. Then on the night of Wednesday, September 23rd, you're going to be able to answer or ask some questions that you might have about the curriculum, the instruction, those expectations. Um, but it's really not an opportunity for specific questions about your child. Those are questions that you can reach out individually, one-on-one -on -one with your teacher, your child's teacher, and ask those specific questions that you might have about your child. But uh, this is curriculum night. We're focused on those items, and we're excited to um, present those items to you on that night. Now, there are some things that I would like to include in my message to you. I'm going to do that right now. My focus is going to be on remote learning. So we know that in grades one and two, we have um, an hour and a half dedicated on a daily basis for all students in those grades, grades one and two, as well as we have it um, optional for all of our students to either attend in person or remotely. And those opportunities come, around, come along every trimester. So, but what I wanna do this evening right now, or this moment, is to remind our parents and our students that when you are participating remotely, it's really important, it's really important to make sure that you are set for success when you're participating remotely. What does Mr. Rhodes mean by set for success? Well, I mean, I want you to make sure that as a student, you either are utilizing some headphones, wherever you're at, maybe you're at home, wherever. But headphones help uh, limit those distractions and really help a student focus. Another thing is make sure that you're in a good space. Uh, is your space set up for success? Do you have all of your materials ready for you? Almost like you're you're in a classroom, right? We want to make sure we have our materials ready for us, um, any books, any materials that might be shared, but ready as a learner. Um, and the last thing is we just want to make sure that we're responsible. Our teachers have been doing a great job of making sure that our students are following those prideful remote learning expectations. Um, when to use the mute button, when to turn off the camera, um, when to raise your hand and use those great signals. Those are things that we want to continue doing that are really going to help maximize the time that we have uh, providing additional instruction, additional learning through a remote setting. So we can do that for sure. And the last thing is I'm going to give some suggestions to our parents. So parents, I have been working and um, collaborating with our teachers who reflect all the time, daily on a daily basis about what is working and what can we continue to do to make it even better. So there's some things that we're working here, technology wise, and just the mode and delivery of instruction. But for our parents, something you might see our teachers start doing is giving you some indications of the levels of support needed when remote learning is taking place. What do I mean by that? Take this picture cue card, for example. If a teacher shows this symbol or says 
support needed to our parents, that would be a great opportunity for you to be right next to your child, whoever's working with your child, to give them some additional support. Could be through prompting, um, some questioning techniques, but your teacher, the teacher is asking for that type of support. That's, that's the support needed. Now, what if the teacher is allowing your child to have some, some grades, some, some support that's minimal, okay? We would be calling that minimal support where you might have a good eye on your child. You might come in, check, see how they're doing, ask them if they need any help, and it's kind of flexible, right? It's kind of flexible. It's minimal support. So that's what this one looks like, okay? You're still there, student's still there, and you're keeping that supporting eye on them. Now, the teacher might also say, hey, moms, dads, parents, guardians, whoever, this is a time for independent work, okay? This is where we really want to see just your student, just your child shine and maybe even struggle a little bit with that learning. And that's okay, right? We have to let our students struggle because we know that when they engage in that productive struggle, we call it the learning pit, is where the great learning actually takes place. So that might be a cue set by the teacher about independent work time, okay? You got those? So we got independent, we have minimal support, and we have support needed. Got that? All right. Now, we also know, uh, parents, that sometimes this, is, this has been a new, what we call a new practice, the remote learning, the teaching synchronously, um, asynchronously. And here is kind of a feeling that our teachers get, knowing that you, the parents, the guardians, the family members could be watching, might be watching, are watching. It's almost like... You you remember that song? So, yes, this song, I always feel like somebody's watching me. So it it is us getting uh, acclimated, you're getting acclimated, and working together um, to make that remote learning experience the best it can be. So we appreciate those opportunities that um, we are working collaboratively together in a partnership, all for the number one person, and that is our Lions, our students, our learners. So let's keep that up. I hope um, my message to you is well received and um, I want to say thank you for attending our curriculum night. Um, let's continue to work in partnership here at Elizabeth Eyed School, bringing the best that we can to all of our learners. Thank you. Enjoy curriculum night and I will see you all later. Bye everybody.